Hello there, I'm just start starting up another stream and uh, I have to check what's on the list for today and um, I'm taking a look at a few things on the code Just I'm just checking a few things out here and I'm going to start up pretty soon. Okay. So I was working on a few stuff the other day on the file formats. I added several new formats that you can now load directly. Okay. I have a video about some problems I was having with the glide. Let me check the video. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see here. The pitch band problem. Supposed to send me something. I'm downloading the file now.
So I'm waiting for my computer to decide when to open the file up. I want to check out. Hi William, this is Costas from Tweets. Uh, this is another bug about the glide or the pitch band. So I loaded the in this. I so what I'm checking now is a video a guy sent me. So just give me a minute to to check the video out. Oh, okay, I'm back. What I'm checking now is actually a pitch band bug. And uh, what happens is the glide code is adding, adding the, a delay on the pitch band, on the pitch band. So I'm going to take a look on that. Hopefully it's just something easy to, to fix. And I guess that's going to happen on all the all the sound generators that has the glide and the pitch band. So first I'm going to to fix on the sample player. Let me show you what's what's going on here. So what happens is that uh, let's say I load something here. Um, let me play some notes on my computer here. So the turn on glide is going to mess up with stuff. Now I'm going to use the pitch band. selected. Yeah, that's a problem. So okay, I can fix that. Uh, what happens is that the, the pitch band gets calculated with the glide. So this is this happens on the sample player. We have a pitch band. Here the glide. That's that's a problem. The the glide is is gliding the sound. But uh, we have a problem here. I 
will have to break the score in two actually. Oh boy. Well, that's that sucks a bit, but it should be okay. It is going to be tricky. It looks like we have to. Two, I need two two rates actually. One is the note rate, which is the one that I'm, I'm gliding. <sighs> and uh, I have to fix this because I, I see another problem here. The modulation. Peach. What frequency? What's that? Who remembers that? Well. Yeah, the that's that's what I'm thinking also. But uh, the other problem I have here is, is that uh, when I created this, I didn't create it with with a monophonic glide sound in mind. So what happens is that the glide is doing is the last thing being done, and that's not right. But so. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out <laughs> the best way to fix this. And it looks like, uh, let me see, of the single oscillator, that it's probably going to be the same problem. Yeah, here we are. It's doing the, the glide last. 
that's just bad. <laughs> but well, it's cold already. Have it's two years old, I think. Two years, more than two years actually. So I'm bound to find mistakes that no one catch on the first alpha versions of the program when I created Vosk 4000. So yes, it should be done only on the notes and nothing else. But that will be here on the cycles cycles per second. Should be done here. Now well, let's see. For the sake of not having to redo a lot of stuff, I'm going to just do this first. Comment this out. Just doing this quickly, then, I, then I'm going to declare this outside here just for testing mostly. Okay. What's the base sequence? Uh, I have to check this. That's not the right way to do it. But I'm going to figure it out. Where is it? Here. Okay, so now I need another one. Oh boy. Heck away, my friend. Yeah. So. Oh boy. Okay, let's see it all. Let's see then. <sighs> Okay, here I'm doing the, the rate, and here I'm doing the actual variable. Okay, that seems to be good. Okay. 
games that summer of crap. So we're going to remove this one, make it more clear, because this is a mess. I don't like it. Oops. Well, let's use the correct variables here to avoid problems. So, the rate I have to declare. Then later I'm going to check what's not being used anymore and just ditch, ditch the variables I'm, I'm not using. But for now it's just like that. So, create the rate. Let me check something out first. Man, this code is big. Okay. That should we. Hey Costas, I'm working on the pitch band problem. It turns out that uh, when I created a code a long time ago, I the glide code is gliding everything. The pitch band, the modulation frequencies, the fine tuning, everything you can, you can think is it's gliding. <laughs> so that's not good. Of course. So now I'm changing it to glide just a note and nothing else. But uh, this takes a bit of thinking because this code is very complex and, uh, well, I have to, to check things out very carefully. This should be correct. Well, in theory, everything should be correct, but who knows what. Well, it looks like... Oh yes, those are great news, because this is an important thing to fix. Uh, I have to redo the code, but uh, that's okay. I don't mind. As long as it sounds correct after. And thanks for reporting that. <laughs> Man, so many things. So many things. I, I, wa I was a bit late today because I was working on my car, putting some stereo on it. I only had this Bluetooth uh, tiny boombox. Then ha had no boom <laughs> and <laughs> has no bass at all. It's fine for listening at home, at home, but not on the car. So I was working on that. Okay, correct angle. Well. <laughs> Hmm. So cycles per second is the same thing as the. Yes, I did fix the gas thing. Man, that was a pain in the neck. It was dripping gas all over the place. It was just terrible. But I finally fixed that. It was good. Good. It's good. Okay.
Well, unless I'm doing something very stupid here, this should do it. I'm just adding stuff as I see because I have a mess with this code for a while and I, I like to do indentations and other things like that uh, the way I want, not the way the market expects me to do. <laughs> it's just some silly thing. But oh yeah, the car is doing much better now. It's a 1980 car. It has a carburetor, so it's an old car. So I have to learn how to fix it. My nails are all dirty. But uh, at least it's all paid for. So I don't have a, like, here in Brazil, people buy $10,000 cars and pay in like six years, month by month, and you end up paying double the price. And that's just crazy. My car was like 500 bucks. <laughs> of course, I had I had to do a lot of fixing on the car, but I don't mind. At least it's working, and the mechanics are very good. It just it doesn't look uh, very good, but that's I'm going to take care in a later time. Okay, I don't know if it's going to work because. Uh, I changed a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the mechanic too. <laughs> so okay, let me let me see. I have the cycles for example. There's no glide. I'm going to skip that. Then what I'm going to get here. Cycles per second again, then everything is being done here, and then the current angle is the cycles per second. Again. Well, unless I'm very out on my way here, it should be working. Let's try again. We have some here. No, it's bad. Well, you know what I do in situations like this? I remove everything I have done, and then either I try to do it again or I just try to guess what's going on. Well, I have this cycles per second. Cycles per sample. Okay, that's that's a problem when you have two variables that are very similar to each other, and uh, you end up making mistakes. So I have the cycles per second, and then I have the cycles per sample. Okay, cycles per second. Now well, let me check it out again. I have the cycles per second. Then if there is no glide, it's going to go here. And there's all this mess. Mm, well, looks okay, but X is the number of samples. Because my calls process four samples.
We will create a sequence uh, of OSs. Oh boy. It should be working. So. Quick window equals cycles per sample. Well, is it 32 bits? Yeah, that's the one. Nobody home? Just for the sake of testing. Okay. Well, let me go back again. I'm probably doing something very simple in the most wrong way possible. So I have my cycles per second, which is used by everything down the lane. And then it comes to the point where where the angle delta oh okay. Angle delta. I should have used two variables because that's Makes confusing code. No, that's angle delta. That's what I do wrong. Well, anyway, I can clean up the code later because this is really not good. But this, this code is very complex because you have multiple layers. The wave sequence invoices, and there's a lot of things on, on this code alone. But I try to make it uh, as simple as possible, but you know what? Looks like I found another problem. Oh yes, I don't use the uh, version control because it's just me programming. But I have a daily backup, and I usually do a lot of backups <laughs> of the code so I can check things out. But uh, in this case, well, I don't know. I found another problem here. There's something wrong here. Obvious, obviously, and I have to figure out what. Because well, the init wave sequence has two zones, and for some reason, second zone is not loading. And not just that, but uh, it's messing up with the code too. So I have to check what's going on there. But thanks for telling me about the version model. Please, always do tell me. Tell me things. Some things I, I just don't care about, not because I'm arrogant or anything, it's just that, uh, well, I have a hard time with new things. And that's just how my poor brain works. Well, now, for the glide to work in polyphonic mode, uh, what happens is that one, when you have a voice, play a note, and then you play another note that uses the same voice, it's just going to glide from the previous note. But when you have a polyphonic in mode, uh, you, let, let's say you have three voices, and then you play four new voices. The, three, the, the previous three voices are still playing because they, are, they have a decay, a release, and the four new voices are going to glide what? That, that, that's that's what my concern about the polyphonic mode uh, because I'm very literal when it comes to the coding. I, I can't just leave it open. 
because uh, if if the four notes are new notes and the 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 previous notes on the on memory is zero, it's going to glide from zero, while the other three notes are just ignore it. And uh, even if I if I go back and, and say okay, let's see what were the all the notes that was playing before, we should have three notes that I, I know what to glide from and four notes. So they're going to glide these three notes and this fourth note here. Well, what's going to glide from from? So I need to figure out. Oh yes, I use GitHub on my bit707.com site a lot. And I'm probably going to use GitHub for uh, some other open source thing, but for my own code, I can use GitHub. Because you have to pay to use the private, something like that anyway. So I just back up as I go. Uh, but le let me finish this speech being bug and then you, you guys could maybe help me out on how to make the polyphonic glide to work. Because I have to fix this bit bucket. Oh, this, this I don't know about. But thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for telling me stuff. What I want to do now, it's the. Uh, I'll have, I'll have angle delta, the previous cycles, then the current angle. Okay. This is the position and this is the rate. So, well, it's good to have other variables to take care of things here. So let me see what I'm doing here. Cycles per second. Okay. And then for the last, I select the cycles per second here. So I could just go and use this. To not have, so I don't have to use this, I could just go like this. And just one line of extra code, less. Oh, thanks, thanks for telling me that, uh, I didn't know about that. Uh, I'll have to check it, it some, some time, because it, it really helps to, to have code revisions. And uh, I, I do have my backups, but uh, code re re revision is better. I'm learning. Okay, try to, to as I said, to, uh, press three notes and see w what they are gliding from. Because, uh, like, load the, the VST, uh, set up the glide, and then press the notes and see w what, what they are gliding from. Probably gliding from zero, I guess. And then press four notes. And, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be possible to hear, but, uh, Well, I guess one way of the polyphonic to work is that uh, when, uh, let's like say you have the three notes, the uh, previous three notes, and you have four notes, one note's not going to glide then, I guess. Or just going to glide from, well, whatever. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I really want to, to fix that, but uh, I really don't know how. <laughs> Okay, let's see this here. I'm just going to copy this whole piece of code here. And since I'm working with the duo, I'll have to be careful. Okay. So we have the note.
brain fuck is good. <laughs> yes, my just to think about it makes my brain hurt. That, that's why I, I fix it to monophonic. I'm lazy sometimes. <laughs> brain fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, it looks like there is a piece of code missing. Oh, I didn't talk with the highs guys. Because I like to reinvent things up and I'm just going to do it my own way. They're going, probably going to charge me stuff and uh, I really can't pay anything right now. Something missing here. Where is the There's something missing below here? I already found another problem. Uh, so many stuff to fix. Fine tuning. Where is the fine frequency of the double notes? Oh boy. Oh crap, it's it's still going to glide the octave course or now that's not a problem. Okay. So here I have to fix something here too because the fade out volume um, this is to avoid ali aliasing. Yes, that that's what I'm doing. That's that's exactly what I did now. It's just that the controls on the screen are going to glide through. But uh, well, heck, let me see how to fix that. True. Uh, okay, just let me fix this because this is missing in one area. Ah, okay, it's here. Okay, 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 let me fix the first one here. Okay, no problem. It's been done after. Here's the the area that uh, the modulations are done after this code. Okay, so now I have to change all these to one instead of zero. So let's use the magic of find a replace. And then take a look if you didn't do anything wrong. That right, seems to be good.
Uh, there is some red links here, but it's not really a problem. Could work. Where? Uh, okay. Where I am? I hate when this happens. Okay, what's going on? Wait, what the heck we do here? I'm listening to something very old and strange. Too bad I can't show it to you guys, but I can tell you it's Edelweiss. <laughs> Look on Spotify. <laughs> it's just too funny. <laughs> uh, uh, search Bring Me Edelweiss. It writes like this Bring Me Edelweiss. <laughs> it's an 80s band. It's just too funny. Okay, let's test this out. So I'm going to use, use an arpeggiator so I can hear what's going on. Okay. Test. This this strange sound happens on on my sound card, but not on my other computer. I don't know why. I think it's a uh, ASO bug or something like that. Okay, let me make it slower and add glide now. No auto glide. Now the pitch band. Okay, that's good. It's a very high pitch buzzing sound. I don't know why it happens because um, I have to figure it out because it's bugging me for like a long time because I do have something on the process block here the process block bypass it, I clear the buffer and uh, when it's loading something it also clears the buffer so I don't know, I'm going to take a look I have to take a look what why it happens like anyway. So many stuff. Now let's add a modulation. The peach envelope. Yeah. That's doing thing. That seems okay. Strange. Strange. Let me check something here. The doorway from the acting a bit strange. 
Oh, come on. Clean the glasses. <laughs> it gets more dirty. Well, sounds good to me. So, seems to be okay. Now, now the fun begins. Because I will have to do this on the other sound generators. Especially the sing single slater. So uh, let me first clean this thing up. Just a minute, guys. I'm thinking because in order to make it easier to port this to the other guys, oops, and <laughs> good one. Let me fix the pitch pan. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, it's new delta rate instead of zero. Okay. Since the new delta rate is not used anywhere else, I can go and use it. The new delta rate. Oh, come on, dude. That's what you're doing. We have to keep things simpler, avoid problems. In this one, I have to use a new value because there is no way out. Okay, that should work out without problems. Okay, in single slater the code's a bit different, so I can't just copy and paste. So I'm just going to recreate it here. Oh boy. 
Oh, it can copy the password. Uh, well, let me check. Envelope. Everything's pretty much the same. What changes? Yeah. Check here. It's a bit different here in a few areas. Huh. I'm doing not find some vibrato. It's a note. It's not what I'm talking about. Well, it's almost the same. But it's not exactly the same. So I can just copy and paste lot. I have to think of it. Okay, this one is the same. Then the layer gets processed in the glide. Check. The reset works here. Okay, auto glide is here. Fine. Two cycles per second. And it looks like I'm going to have just one of those guys here because I only have one oscillator. Anyway. Okay. Then, then everything else here is the same at some point. Okay. Oh, it affects the rain here. Angle delta should be one one. Yeah, that's only one. Uh, Let's complain. Okay, let me see how it was before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy this use these instead because it's very different. Cycles the same thing. Okay. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Okay. What? Ah, oh, it's going to rain. My my dog goes crazy when when it starts starts raining. She has some anxiety problems with the rain. I don't know why. That sucks because she really gets crazy. Yeah, I feel bad for her, but uh, I don't know what. But what could I do to help her out? Uh, 
have to remove all these guys. The bubble. Where the voice? The okay. Where's the reset for the voice? Because there is a reset for the for everything, and then there's a reset for the actual voice. Where's the double stuff? Well, zero. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it? Ah, stop being lazy. Work it. Okay. Okay, well, I'll have to test this one out, but it looks okay, but who knows? Oh, oh well. Okay, let me check the three oscillator because this was the single oscillator sound. Oh well. Oh well. So I hate to I feel something on my leg. <laughs> I don't know if it's a mos bloody mosquito. Okay, let me check again. Cycle per second. Then. Then, 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 then. Then, then. then I have the cycles per second again. Okay, it's some pitch band here. I'm missing something. Is the delta? Angle delta. <laughs> well, you should work with what you understand. Go delta. Okay. That should do it. Oh, of course. I forgot to close it. Okay. Let's later live.
Okay. Okay, so now I have to worry about Super Slither. So let's see. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, Well, I don't know. There's no delta rate. How the pitch frequency works. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, they are going to be different, so... Uh, mm, lots... Lots of stuff to do here. But that's okay. That leads is going to work great. Well we have this for all the voices. Is 
there's no point in doing it like this. No, that's not correct. There is no need to do this. Okay, that's more likely. Okay. Squad Beach Man. It's the last three. Okay, that should do it for the Super Slater as well. Okay, super oscillator. Let's glide the shit out of this. Or not. Let me see what I did wrong. Angle down. I keep forgetting. Yeah. I don't know why I choose these names. It's been a long time, so I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's just sad. But that's okay. Man. Okay. Should be okay now. But 
we have to check the other guys. No, okay. Because we have to fix for VUSC 8000 as well. Okay, let's see. Well, the basic oscillator has no glide as far as I know. Oh, it has. <laughs> well, <laughs> it makes sense. At least this should be easier to fix. Here it lies. The angle delta. That's the last thing we do. So that's already I have this here. Angle delta. I don't know how those bugs get in. Bugs. Let's go Later. Oh, so much stuff. <laughs> One can get lost in the pile of code. And let's not forget to declare this silly guy. Well, because the in this case uh, most of the code is shared, so the basic oscillator, the single oscillator, the sample player, they share a lot of code. And uh, well, I just some portions I remember where to look. Sometimes I get lost like crazy, but uh, usually I understand the code. I can't disclose well, the problems I had on the on the past, but. Uh, um well I usually have a hard time figur figuring out stuff that I called like a year ago. What's going on here? This is a bit odd. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, what's going on here? Oh, that's not good. This code's very different. I guess I'm just going to add these. Oh boy. Okay. Oh crap. This code is very different.
Hmm. I don't like that at all. Okay, I think I got it. But the the base constellator has fewer fewer options. There is no high quality mode, for instance. There's a problem here. Mm -hmm. Because I do things in a different way. There's my calculation again. Here. So I should use these instead. Well, at least I'm fixing other stuff that Okay. Okay. It should be done now. The base oscillator has much less options, but you have to fix everything. <sighs> Should work correctly now. Just have to careful test it out now. So let me check. Let me test at 32 bits. Oh, I have to buy a mask 8000. Otherwise, I can't test it out. Now I'm going to have to open the. Let me see the. Williams folder. Oh crap. I don't have a 64 bits for that. Transfer. Where are my plugins now? Not here. Are they? Music station, music 8064 bits. Okay, I will see the file. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, little dude. Where are you? Here I am. Okay, there we go. So, ah, let me turn off the ventilator. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito killer! Die mosquito, die! <laughs> <Fuck her. laughs> I hate 
ce qui pousse. Okay. Only there are mosquitoes here. Of course. Okay. Oh, actually, I don't need a scrap. Because. Oh, I'm not going to be able to run this correctly, but. <laughs> Mosquito hunter. Hunter! <laughs> Now well, let's test first the the new code because the FX teleport doesn't work on the bloody 64 bits. Basic R, basic R envelope. <laughs> and, and sound generator, base go slater. Well, there goes nothing. Uh, I hate to do that. You have to load first the alt mode, then there are plays. <laughs> what the heck does this scrapper? Oh, that should be some old. Okay. I have to delete the, delete the file. That's going to leave me in trouble. Because this is from the old code. Okay. I'm just mumbling now. Uh, so okay, the base oscillator is going to need a bit more attention to work because it's not going to work in the way I expected. This code is very different. So. I'm going to leave this one for last, but I have to remember that I'm not doing this right now. Oh, brother! Nah. Let's go to the next one. I want to check the combos later. And there goes. The whole mass is the same as the basic oscillator code. Huh, go figure. Ah, uh, how many oscillators are on the combo oscillator? I think it was two or more than two. Hmm. Where well, is three oscillators? Oh, okay. So the combo oscillator is three oscillators. <laughs> nice. But, uh... 
Okay. Oh, it does three times the compilation. Uh, Mm -hmm. And it has to be done three times because we have three voices with deviation on, on each voice. Mm. Oh, what a mess. But let's fix this. So the glide must be compiled first. And then we're going to use the delta. Oh, angle. Angle delta. Is the angle delta for the three ones? Okay. I have to think a little bit more, but then then I can apply this to the basic oscillator as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> that sucks, but that's okay. Also. So you have the cycles per sample, cycles per second. And where is this music? Oh, I did that with the oscillator. So it looks like okay, I think I, I know how to do this. Oh, well, okay. Delta. No, I'm not doing this the right way. And you have massive the code. Okay. Wait. Delta. Wait. Delta. Delta. Wait. Delta. Wait. Delta, 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 wait, delta, delta. We need these at some point. It's mostly on the on the end of of everything. <sighs> okay, let me calculate everything here. Where's the cycle per percent? Ah. This is just messy. Where's the cycle per samples now? Come on.
or happens on the layer pitch pen. Man, this code is a mess. Uh, but what happened is that is this. This is what I want. Uh -huh. Let's make it work. I think. Yeah, it should work. Okay, now I have another problem here. Of course. We need to make these work, otherwise we're going to have some problems. It's going to work. To clear this. This is a bit boring, but well, just as long as it works, I'm not. I'm not really uh, going to bother much. I'm going to do this exactly. Huh. Well, it seems to be okay. There are a few problems. Well, let's see how, how this works. Uh, oh, can it open? Oh, is it open? Oh, it's not open. <laughs> 